much so i had to delete that video in case if you didn't watch it and you saw the notification i'm so sorry about it it has to be deleted because i don't like the way he was shouting screaming on the uh, screaming on that live chat so i had to delete it so yes guys i'm here and um i'm going to be talking about different things based on the question i've asked on my channel i've i've gotten a couple of questions that goes this way uh a lady asked me what if you are not uh, if you don't have a child with italian uh can you ha get a citizenship like you're married to italian but you don't have a child with the, with him so now i have a list of the things that qualifies you to get italian citizen okay so i put them down here because i don't want to make a mistake and uh, i let my husband go through them because i just i don't want to give a uh, false information okay because i know this is helping someone out there so i don't want it to be a false information okay so if you are here and you can hear me please say hi let me know that you can hear me okay like i also i'm so sorry for the way i cut off the other the first life because he was just jumping around like i don't know he was too excited so let me get into this um the the question so the first thing i would say is um like um the things you need if you are like if you're married to italian is one of the things that uh, qualifies you to get italian citizen like if you're married to italian man uh you are free to get italian citizen that is the one i was talking about that you have to wait for you have to wait for like uh, two years after two years of living in italy then you can apply for your citizenship and you have to write exam and um wait for four years before the citizenship will come out so the next thing uh you need is uh, if you are a foreigner but you are born legally in italy and you are resident for at least three years so this is also one of the things that will give you italian citizen if you are a foreigner and you are born here and you've been living in italy for at least three years you can obtain italian citizen and what i did not put in the other one as long as you're married to italian man whether you have a baby or you don't have a baby you are as the same as every other it foreigners that are that are married to italian so as long as you're married to him whether you have baby or not you're qualified for their citizenship okay so the next thing is uh if you are adopted from italian citizen and resident legally for at least five years just like um i don't know if you you guys know about um this footballer balotelli he was adopted by italian family so if you are adopted by italian family and you have to live in italy for at least five years you are qualified for italian citizen okay so the next one is if you are legally resident for at least 10 years like if you're a foreigner you're living in italy you're working your leg everything is like your document is perfect after 10 years you can have your citizen ship i'm trying to control christina so yes so the next thing is uh for all the position on the i want i'm reading it because my husband wrote it down <laughs> so the next one is um like um there's no next one like I, I said if you're married to italian you can have italian citizen okay uh whether you have a child or not you're living you are adopted in italy like italian family adopted you you can have italian citizen another one is if you're living in italy for 10 years you're working everything is clear you're perfect you can have italian citizen so there is no obstacle as long as you have enough money in your account okay as long as you have enough money in your account you can have italian citizen and everything you are you don't have any criminal record and the rest of them you can have italian citizen so yes i hope i answered that question i really hope i answered that question so 
now let's chat who is online ask me any question let's chat let's have fun this weekend you guys should tell me what you are up to tell me what you are up to i'm not i'm from i'm reading so and then uh, another thing i did not add is um you have to be you ha like every is meant for everybody now you have to write that a b1 exam before you can get this applied to everybody that wants to get internet citizen be you, whether you're married or you're not married as long as you're qualified to have internet citizen just know that you're going to write that b1 exam okay so just bear that in mind if you've been living in italy and you have been hoping for the italian document like citizenship just know that um you need to start school um to learn italian language before you are qualified for that okay like me the way i learn italian language i said that in one of my videos that when you are living here you already know that you're living in a non-english speaking country they appreciate you when you make mistake as long as they know that you're trying like you're trying to speak the language even if you're not perfect uh in speaking the language as long as you're forcing yourself you're trying they appreciate you the same so if you are living here and you've not enrolled in their language school don't be shy don't be shy to fail you know in life you can't say oh i'm shy i, I fail once i don't want to try again in life we we need to always like always try try and try until we get to that stage you know we want to like so if you're living in italy I will advise you to go ahead, enroll yourself in the school, in Italian language school. Learn the language. It's not easy because learning language in adult life is not easy at all because you already have so many things. It's not like kids that can capture three, four, five languages at the same time. Adults is, is a bit difficult uh, for adults learning language. So when you when you find yourself in a country where you have to learn the language just go ahead learn the language it's difficult i know but i'm encouraging using myself to encourage you today to go ahead and learn that language don't say you will learn from the street because there is so many things that they will teach you that you only interacting with people when you won't even won't teach you you know so if you are here and you are, you are still struggling, go ahead and enroll for that class, okay, and learn the language. Trust me, you will enjoy it when you start like eating Italian language. Que belle. <laughs> so, so guys, I'm here. Just ask me a question. I'm going to be here for another few minutes with you guys. I have some time. Christina is sleeping. Okay, Cosmo is taking his milk. Cosmo, go take your milk, okay? Don't come here. I don't want you here right now. Uh, go stay with your dad and watch TV. I don't want you here right now. You don't listen. So, go. Yeah, I'm coming. He, he see again. He wants to come here again. I don't want him to come here again. So, ask me any question, guys. Ask me. I'm here. I'm here. I just want to feel this calmness. Uh, what are you guys up to for this summer? Are you going for summer holiday? tell me what are your plans or oh, are you back from the from summer holiday like me you guys know already that we're back two weeks is enough so we're back home we're going to be here throughout august and uh, by the grace of god september cosmo is going back to school so what i was saying in my first video is that uh, also let me because i deleted that video is to encourage other other blacks living in italy that the new law affects you know just keep doing what you're doing as long as you are here you have a focus because before someone will come here you already know that i'm coming here for a reason i'm 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 not just coming here to sit down or for government to help me or for me to sit down day and night doing nothing you know i'm just giving you this word because even italians themselves things are not all that easy for them you know if the law affects you in any way at all i would advise you to just sit back reflect think how you will make you will make a good act of this new law if it affects you okay for my my own concern my like my own opinion you know so make use of it guys make use 
of it okay don't be sad keep pushing because the law is going to help a lot of the good blood to be in front of the camera you know it's so much. it's going to help of good egg uh, so let me tell them better you need so let me tell them better you need to speak yes exactly island girl yes you need to speak if you don't speak you will never learn it in italian and not english with your hobby i'm trying to speak more of italian with him and not um english i'm really trying to do that but him don't mind him he's using me to learn italian this is the thing yeah i mean he's using me to be like to keep his um the few english going you know i'm not perfect in english but he's using to get strong because i'm the only one that he can speak english with that's how i learn yes a lot of people say that to me a lot of people have said that to me i'm actually speaking more of italian than english with cosimo like me and cosmo interact more in italian like if i <laughs> if i want to talk to him sometimes i, I will find myself speaking italian and I, I, i've started making new friends that is another way again i've started making friends like i go out to the park i talk to other mothers in the park i try to shout in the in the bar it's to keep his english going bless yes cindy hi thank you for joining me yes i i he really need it because for him to get an international job he need the english his family don't speak english so i had no choice but to learn italian hi hi mary hi i am so sleepy oh no problem good night i would love to learn a foreign language yeah it's good to learn a foreign language i'm so happy that i'm actually learning a foreign language i i learn girl yeah it's true but my problem is, my own is that my husband uh families are not here yes so they live in uh, south italy and we live in north italy so it's just us is i just have to like socialize and thank god for the, for kids now that i have the kids i um i can socialize with other mothers which is very very good like i even know a lot more people than him in this uh area this zone we are living someday i will learn a foreign language yeah cindy is really fun to learn a foreign language is really really fun you know it's very it's fun it's not just learning it is fun to learn it and also if you're living in that land in the country also understanding it like understanding the language and trying to interact with the language is really really fun yeah it's good to learn a foreign language probably you should learn italian you know <laughs> don't learn from... <laughs> I know, I know, a lot of people are learning french spanish you should learn italian you will love it you know italian language is very like when you are speaking when you when you go out and you speak italian language you like, hmm, hmm. italian language is is a language of love <laughs> <laughs> it's a language of love good advice you are giving i may try yeah let me tell you that language is something that when you because french is common now a lot of countries learn french um english is general the whole world language uh spanish a lot of people learn spanish like america they speak spanish so i i'm like advocating italian language learn italian language you will enjoy it like when you if you go out and you speak italian people will be like hmm italian is lovely it sounds better than spanish and french they say it, it that is the right word italian word when you, when people find out that hmm you speak italian hmm you speak italian pal italian <laughs> so i'm advocating for italian don't learn i'm not saying you shouldn't learn french or others yeah but italian I love the way it sounds, you know. The you know when you are in the midst when I was in Nigeria, we have this friend that uh, is Italian. Sometimes when you go there, there is only Italians. We see there, you see them. Everybody would just be there. You will see it. It like this. You to be as if they are singing the way they speak Italian. Even if you don't get your attention, just that language alone will get your attention. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's so lovely it's so like i i love it i love 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 it it's you will love it when you learn italian i'm, I'm telling you guys go learn italian you can even learn online because there's a 
even on youtube there is so many italian youtubers that teach italian the smile on your face that's it <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah it's Probably it's just it's the smile that will like that will explain what uh, I'm trying to say. Like it, uh, it's not because I'm living in Italy, but Italian language is a language of love. Let me just put it: it's a language of love. That like, when you like when you are when you're speaking the language, people will be like, like you will be, you will be have yeah, people will come to have conversations with you. Like really and it makes them so it gives them so much joy to see foreigners speaking their language it gives them so much joy i remember back in nigeria a friend of mine uh italian because that he owns a company so there is this uh, nigerian italian hi 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 uh, baby mom lifestyle hi thank you for joining me it makes them interested yes so this Ma, what is the reason behind your very good English? Do I speak good English? <laughs> <laughs> that you must come to Torino. One, trust me. We have a mom, a island girl. We have a couple of days to take for holiday. I've been thinking of coming to Tuscany, uh, like make the first stop in Torino and uh, head to Tuscany. Cause my father is calling you so back to the story so this man is in nigeria living in italy so he came to nigeria then and come to visit this company so a friend of mine that was there was like that is this nigerian man he speak italian with the right italian accent if you see the excitement in all the italians in nigeria to see a nigerian man speaking italian with their accent they were so happy you see the way they treated this guy like like with love because they love to see you speak their language like especially if we finally get their accent you know italian has accent they love it so much i tell you hi <laughs> you must i must come to torino yes you you speak good english cindy hi really i speak good english i did not consider myself that eh? because i'm still learning i'm still learning didn't um uh i'm trying to ask can uh you know i'm from nigeria and in nigeria english is the um, nigerian common language we have so many languages in nigeria and to understand each other we have to use english and funny enough you guys are not the only one saying this my cousin also said this to me i was born and brought up in the eastern part of nigeria which is Igbo. So I grew up in Igbo language, like all my adult life is in Igbo before I moved to Port Harcourt. So we moved from uh, Anambra State to Port Harcourt. I started learning English, like learning English when I was 17, 18 years. Because if you are Nigerian, you know that if you live mostly in your city or in your state that speaks, in the state that speaks their local language, it's difficult for you to learn english so i started learning english at my adult age like 17 18 years that is when i started learning english so <laughs> yes <laughs> in case i i learn to understand cindy how was it so english is our common language in nigeria yeah english is our common language in nigeria so with that english you can't even but we have another one we call it broken english which is pigeon english is it's like um it's not a proper English, but it's how we understand ourselves. I don't know how to explain this broken English, but uh, this is how we, we call it Pigeon English. We understand ourselves uh, that way. So please, Cindy, if you are looking for a foreign, foreign language to learn, please learn Italian. If you learn Italian, I assure you, when you go to any manage italian restaurants in every way they will give you a special treatment for just speaking their language <laughs> i tell you true they will give you a special treatment guys you need to learn italian you guys need to start learning italian because italian is very good italian is very very italian is very very good so you need to learn <laughs> you need to learn the language add it to your like the language you need to learn i'm telling you the truth <laughs> so yes so where are we what are we talking about again today i just want to have a chat i have time this week 
I'm also very poor in speaking English. Don't worry, you will learn as long as you speak. Joy, when are you coming to Venice? Mm-hmm, Joy. Ne -hmm. I've been to Venice once. You know where I want to go? I want to visit Venice again with family. I want to visit Torino because I've been to Torino, but in a, a different part of Torino. That was two years ago. So I just, uh, we, we went there for a uh, baby shower. So I've been disturbing my husband. I need to go back to Torino again. Joy, I will definitely visit Venice. Now I know the city you guys are living in. I'm going to be writing it down. So I will make that the city where I can meet you guys. Like anyone that lives in each city, I will write the city down. So whenever we want to go out for like a weekend or just want to visit another city in Italy, I know the particular one to go and I will inform you that I'm coming to that city. So Torino, Venice, I need you guys to tell me more. Hello, good evening from here. Good evening, Alice. Ma, say good evening. Good evening, Alice. Okay, anyway, the whole, a lot of people answer Alice because in Italy we call Alice. Alice is Alessandro in Italy. Nice to catch you briefly online there. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Like this week, I like, I have a bit of time to come live, to chat. Because I really want to do more of this live because I want to know more of my subscribers. Yeah, I'm in Torino and it will be lovely to meet you in, <laughs> meet you and your fan. Yes, my family and my family will visit Torino very, very soon. For sure, it's one of my one of the places I want to visit. Trust me. Thank you, Joy. Ciao, ciao, Lore Diana. Ciao, ciao, Cara. Ciao, Cara Mia. Come stai? Come stai? Tu bene? <laughs> yes, guys. Hmm. Learn Italian. Learn Italian. You're in UK. You can learn Italian online. Anyway, you want to learn. So I was saying that I want to get to know. Hi sis, hi, ciao, ciao, no trick, natural product, ciao, cara mia, ciao. My husband has a good seafood restaurant, so if you like, oh my, mamma mia, mamma mia, mi piace molto, frutta di mare, spaghetti di frutta di mare, riso di frutta di mare, frutta di mare con lim succo di limone, eh, Presemolo, olio, mi piace tanto, mi piace, mi piace tanto, questo è, mm, è buonissimo, mi piace. <ride> bene, bene, eh, bene. Mi... <ride> tu come stai? Sto bene, sto bene qua, sto bene, sto bene. Passato oggi? Sto bene, bravo Tessi, grazie. <ride> Grazie mille, cara. No, mi piace. Mi piace tutto tipo frutta di mare. Mi piace. When I go to Bari, my husband, you know, my husband is from Bari, and you know, seafood costs less there because of the Mediterranean, uh, because of the sea. Hmm. Ninety percent of what I eat when I'm in uh, in Bari in South Italy is fish, 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 risotto, spaghetti, grilled, anything fish. My best. Food, seafood with spaghetti ah no trick natural products fruit spaghetti alla frutta di mare hmm hmm oh oh hello hello hmm spaghetti alla frutta di mare hmm se non ha mangiato se non ha mangiato già spaghetti alla frutta di mare fai provare hmm I'm saying if you have, if you've not had Spaghetti with seafood, with mixed seafood. You need to go try it. And make sure you are you are you don't eat frozen one, eat fresh one. Seafood with spaghetti is called spaghetti eh, los vongles. Yes, but I like that one with mix. There is one with vongles, but that's vongles. You know why I'm scared of that's vongles? Zvongle has a lot of sand on it, like I had history with Zvonglu. <laughs> when I was going crazy, the first time I tried uh, um, spaghetti with seafood, I now went to another restaurant, I tried, I keep ordering, every time we go to the restaurant, I keep ordering spaghetti with seafood, spaghetti with seafood. So I had that one that it was too much salt, I mean sand, and that was Brescia. We went to visit my husband, the uh, cousin in Brescia. So we went to a restaurant in Brescia, I had that, it was so sandy, so since that day, 
I don't like easily order that but i can make it if i make it at home by myself i sit down and i eat and eat and eat <laughs> so it's wrong like i normally exclude them for me up to me i normally exclude them uh, when i'm making it by myself it's wrong because it's, it has too much stand it needs now <laughs> see you fritura fritura bonissimo anche fritura anche fritura bonissimo bonissimo <laughs> We have frit uh, fritura di pesce also. Yeah, not vonglo. I said zvonglo, zvonglo. I see, 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 zvonglo. Yeah, you are right. Yes, you are right. No, fritura, buonissima fritura. Mm, fritura is very good. I ask your husband. Yeah, I know. I understand now. <laughs> no, zvonglo. Uh, fritura is very good, like uh, caramari, sepia. Um, uh, what is it called again? Gambero, tutto. There is one I ate in a place in um that was a blog I made um in one city we went to the uh riverside. My god, they have they served us this uh, fritura at the restaurant. That's that particular fritura was is the first time um I had that. And the I think it's fish from this river mixed all mixed together. They fry it with uh, zucchini and carrots all inside. I don't know what they used to marinate it, but it was so good. Like, it was very, very good. Even the carrot, the zucchini was so good. So, I was after eating it, I was like, hmm. When I come back home and the day I will have time to make this, I'm going to fry together with uh, zucchini, carrot, marinate everything. It's so good. I know, I know, but <laughs> yes, I don't know that your husband owns a restaurant in Torino. I'm, if I come to Torino, I'm going to book your restaurant because I love, hmm, yeah, I love, I love, I love seafood. I love seafood. Fruit de mare. Bonissimo, bonissimo. I love it so much. Mi piace tanto, mi piace, mi piace. In fact, eh, if fish has to talk to somebody, this, it was this time I went, this uh, summer we traveled to South Italy. I was eating anything fish, everything fish, everything fish, risotto fish, this fish, this fish, grilled fish, cook this, we, like I ate almost everything fish, I will message you on IG, I, okay, okay, fine, please do, please do, please, please, <laughs> please do, oh, it's really good to know that your husband, your husband own a restaurant there, it's good, it's really, really, it's a good business, you know, when you love to cook, trust me, all you want to do is, just have the restaurant open so yeah so are you not are you people not traveling for summer who is going for summer holiday who is going because me i'm back no holiday anymore at the moment except if we have time i will we'll just we're still looking for city around to go anyway but we are still here at the moment maybe we'll go now maybe we'll go september depends depends because uh, Christina will do her christening soon by the grace of God. She will, she've not done her christening so we are planning of her christening. Probably next month by the grace of God. <laughs> and uh, I want to ask question. How many of you mothers have baby girl living in Italy? At what age do you pierce your baby girl's ear? Yes, you know in Nigeria, when the moment you, you have a baby girl, before you even go home in the hospital there they will help you to like pierce the ear to put the earring on like that is what normally is like that in there but here in italy i went to farmers because i asked around in the jewelry they said that she act as she go to pharmacy so i went to pharmacy and asked they said that um asla if you live in italy you know asla asla is people that uh, take care of mostly they are in the one I don't know how to explain, but they call them Asla. They 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 say they pass a law that you before you have a child pierce, uh, you have to wait until the child is over six months before you pierce a child in Italy. So she's over she's six months now. So if I want to pierce her, I can pierce her. So I've already, uh, like I went to the pharmacy, asked them. They said they have it, and it's not even expensive. It's about twelve euro to pierce the. 12, 11, either 12 or 11 euro to pierce the ear but I want to ask you 
I am from I am from the Carib Caribbean and we pierce after the first set of shoe. So maybe after three months. Ah, ah. no, in in Nigeria where I come from, we pierce in the hospital. Like the moment you have your baby girl, you it, some mothers even go like during their delivery they carry the earring along with them if they know that they are having a baby girl. They are with the earrings like when they arrive the moment the baby arrives they pierce the baby immediately but here they said that i asked around this after six months you can pierce the la pharmacy will now accept to pierce the, the baby but if the baby is less than six months they won't so she not i've not pierced her own i'm just asking around how do you do it in italy <laughs> how how like the feeling and uh, all that so but soon i have my some of my friends saying i shouldn't do it until she's over a year some said i should wait so i just i'm kind of confused <laughs> and the to every country is different yes every country is different true they are different in nigeria most government don't really really care about uh, ear piercing and they say the reason they uh they stop piercing ears early in italy is because sometimes um when the child is uh as the child is growing the ear might be growing so the piers you gave to the child might not be at the right position something like that they said it's the reason why they ask to pierce from six months up so I'm still contemplating because I still have friends that leave her, leave her. So I'm saying that she leave her until she's an adult. But I just, <laughs> you know, that baby girl feeling and you know where you come from. Piercing is not a problem. So I was like, mm, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I really want to pierce her ear for her. So, yes. At what age you pierce your child ear? If you, if you have a baby girl, please tell me. Okay, tell me. At what age you pierce the baby girls? I really want to do it as soon as possible. It's just, it's just the choice. I don't know if I'm wrong, you know, but I just want, I really want to do it. I, I want to pierce her ear. Yeah, I don't know. But stick contemplating, guys. So, <laughs> yes, I'm here. Please talk to me. Please, please talk to me. Let's chat. I'm in the mood of chatting, getting to know you guys. The reason I'm doing this is to know you guys. I want to connect with you guys more. It's not every time upload, addicting upload. I want to get to know you guys more and uh, get to answer most of your questions in a live chat like this. Just answer. Be truthful with you guys for you guys also to know the real testy, my real self. <laughs> so let's chat please talk to me talk to me talk to me if you're living in italy like i said please go learn the language we love it when, when you start eating the language you will love it testy good luck she said why some other did there in the pharmacy within the first week or more uh no extra age but it's better and easier when she's a newborn yes this is sorry i have Ah, oh, Larry, you have a boy. Yes, in uh, in Nigeria, it's we do it when the baby, when the moment. In fact, few days. Some people sometimes the same day. Sometimes few days after, three days after the child uh, was born. But here they said after six months you are free to do it as long as you are going to do it in the pharmacy. But if I know some people do pierce, uh, do know how to pierce baby's ear, but me, I don't. The only people, the only way I can do it is to go to the pharmacy. And if I go to the pharmacy and they find out that she is not up to six months, they won't because they want to check her health card to know her age. You didn't read my first name. No, I didn't read your. Let me go back and read your first message. I'm looking for your first message. I can't find it here. The only one that entered is the one I read. Tessie. I didn't read it. I didn't. He didn't. He's not here. The only one I'm screwing down why some no, it's not here. No, I didn't see the first message test. My mistake. <laughs> no, is the this is the only one that entered here. This is why. Because I was kind of lost in the middle because I know it's 
it, it looks like second uh, message. I didn't see the first one. I did not see it. <laughs> so, yes, yes. And the here, yeah, they won't do it for me. They won't accept uh, at the pharmacy. Only if um, she's up, to, which is she's already six months old. So they will, they can do it. In fact, I told them I'm coming back as soon as she passed six months for them to do it at the pharmacy because they have a special earring. You don't buy it. the pharmacy that provide the earring to pierce it, sterilized earring to to pierce the ear. So you have to leave that one on her. You you need to be cleaning it every day, like every day before. I think it's you need to leave it for up to a month. I'm not sure, but I think up to a month before you can put another earring there but you have to clean it often for the ear to keep open i don't know i'm not sure i need to ask so yes so please let's talk <laughs> i want to know most of you please i want i really want to know you guys like i want to connect with you guys more i want to be like real stuff because in rich life in the, is there any avenue you met your fans like is only no not yet not yet it's only here i can talk live and uh probably in the future i can actually organize like in milan or meet up in milan because i live under milan i live 25 minutes away from duomo if you know milano so well, probably in the future when uh, Christina because Christina is very late now probably when she enters school which is going to be soon I will not say it's far because time flies so fast so but when she enters school I would really love to organize a meet up in Milan city you know Duomo I can meet like people that live around there in Duomo and I will, I'm really, really looking looking forward to it because I know it's going to be fun meeting people in real life. You know, getting to know them, you know. The feeling is so amazing. Getting to know, see other people, getting to know them like face to face. Like not just camera stuff. But right now I have to wait for her to grow up a little because she's too little. And uh, I don't want to carry her run around. When she enters school, because here in Italy... How they do their school if um it's from three years uh from three years you can put the child in school ijoma gloria hi tessie hi my name is seki do you know that my name is ijoma too i'm from ijoma you know the idea <laughs> i'm from ijoma as well uh um, i speak that's that is Igbo, my original language my mother's tongue Igbo. I was telling her that my name is also Ijoma, not just this, like my Igbo name is Ijoma. So it's, uh, I'm saying in Italy, if you want to put your child in school, in school like if she clock, like if she's up to a year now and I want to send her to pre-nursery, you are where we have to pay every month 600 and 650 euro. I don't know what that is in dollar, but I know it's more than 700 uh, uh, dollar a month. I usually see IJ attached to your name. Yes, my name I from Bijoma. <laughs> so, but if you wait till the child is um, up to three years, in my own case, like Cosmo was born December, so people that entered last year, he qualified for the people that entered last year. So he is one of the youngest in his class because he did. He was. I'm looking. Yeah, the baby girl is awake. Let me change position. <laughs> Let me change position. <laughs> She's awake. So if you enter, uh, Cosmo was lucky to enter last year instead of entering the this joining the people from September. So the same thing, Krishna will do. Krishna is January, so Krishna is going to enter. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me.